The Supreme Court on Tuesday voided the election of Emeka Ihedioha as the governor of Fimo State. A seven-man panel of the Apex Court, led by Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tanko Mohammed, unanimously declared Hopu Zodima as the winner of the March 9, 2019 governorship election and a validly elected governor of the state. Justice Kudirat, who read the lead judgment, ordered that the certificate of return issued to Ihe Dioha be immediately withdrawn. She directed that a fresh certificate of return should be issued to Uzodimma. She also directed that Uzodimma must be immediately sworn in as the governor of Ibo State. Earlier, we spoke to a legal practitioner, Liboros Oshoma, and he gave an insight to the judgment. The Supreme Court has ruled is the final court of the land. And so who wants it ruled, the decision is final. No matter how unfortunate it is. So that that that's the that's the implication. Uh, I heard the father father Mbaka uh, predicting the the outcome of a judgment that he is not a party to, and then the event that later unfolded from yesterday and today, it was clear that there was something in the offering. Uh, Ucho Wosu of the AA, if you remember in that election, he came second with 190,000 votes. Wopu Zodima came fourth with 26,000 votes. Abga Ifanya Ararume came third with 114,000 votes. And I'm so when Ucho Wosu withdrew his appeal, I knew that you know there was some form of um, something in the office, and I wasn't um, I wasn't surprised really uh, with the judgment. Even though I would not, as a lawyer, stand here to say that uh, I can I can reason that it might be about law, but I would wait to read the body of the judgment. The law is what. The court says it is, and not the the what is stated in the paper. So what that means now is that um, Imo will have a staggered election from now on, uh, because the the new governor, the new governor's tenure, will start to come from the day he's sworn in. You know, unlike um, the previous uh, uh, governor. So that that's basically what is going to play out, but it, it's quite it, it's quite unfortunate because I listened briefly with uh, to your to the guest in the studio. He was talking about um, Supreme Court judgment not being about law, really. If it is if if we want to support that uh, assertion, then there will be no need for anybody to take any matter to the Supreme Court. If it's about um, uh, uh, anything but law, it is the highest court of the land. It should interpret the law because if you look at if you look at the the the, the vote to really, if we say that the maker behavior has did not get the required spread of two thirds of the entire state, what would have been the appropriate? Set for the Supreme Court to, to do. Is it declaring somebody who came distant fourth as the winner of the election or ordering a re election in that state? Because what we, what, what we, the Supreme Court has set a new precedent here now. You can score uh, 20,000 votes and not have the required spread, and yet you'll be declared a winner. By, by the court. That's, that, what, that's the confusion that I'm facing here with uh, basically what is what, what I'm seeing here. That's why I took time to explain, to also give the figures as they were uh, um, uh, as they were read by INEC when the results were announced. But unfortunately, the court has spoken and it is the court of the land. A, a judgment such as this I do not expect a situation where the Supreme Court would be giving reason later. I expect that the judgment ought to be ready. The moment it's read, 
even though there is no appeal on it, that the parties should be availed of the copies of the judgment. It does not mean that because the Supreme Court has spoken that they are not infallible. Analysts can look at it, lawyers can look at the judgment and begin to point out areas where the Supreme Court has erred, even though they are the final part of the land. Like the 1979 uh, Awolawa and Shagari case that the, the guests in the studio referred to, even though that, that court was decision was given by the Supreme Court, this judgment was seriously lambasted even when it was given. And the Supreme Court later overruled that same judgment because it wasn't a judgment that was given on the basis of law. And so we should not also not so support Supreme Court to give judgment on anything apart from the position of the law. I doubt if this also will stand the test of time. Supreme Court.